Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In Angular 18, we'll try to learn about the Activate Child. The Activate Child got... So let's try to see one by one about this one. So let's try to learn about this Activate Child, Can Activate Child. So here in, act, in Angular 18, the Can Activate Child God is used to determine if a routes child routes can be activated or not. It's similar to can activate, but it specifically guards the child roots. So can activate guards the single root only, whereas the can activate child guards the child roots of a parent root. You would typically use this guard when you want to apply a security check or permissions, validations to a parent level to control access to all of its child roots. So for this one, what I will try to do is I will try to show you the step by step example for this one. So how it can be used. It. So for example, let's say that Mm, here we are having the simple example. I will try to take the simple example for this one. Let's say this is our auth service. So here I will try to have a uh, has permission. Okay. So let's try to check whether we have a permission or not. And what I will try to do, I will try to return the true. Okay. So that means it has a permission. Now I will implementing the connect with child here only. Export constant has permission God. Uh, we can write whatever the name you want. You can write it here. And this one it is of type can activate or otherwise if you want to check it means you can also have uh, separate uh, file also you can have it. So here I have given auth guard right. So here I can check that a new file uh, has permission guard. So you can you has you can have whatever the name you want you can have it. <clears throat> this is the name and export constant has has permission got and which is of type and this is of type can activate child so this should be can activate child function and this one will take here it's a method and here i will try to inject the auth service auth service is equal to inject of auth service okay and here i will try to use so auth service we need to inject that one angular core it will be fine and here I will be injecting the router also constant router is equal to inject of router so I can inject the router also so that's it so we have injected the router and all those things now what I want to do it is so here if auth service dot has permission if it has a permission means then I will return the truth so that automatically the children will be open and if it doesn't have means so what I will try to do so I will navigate router dot navigate to something else URL I will do it so something like uh, slash no permission or no access anything any URL if it exists for you and I will return the false to here that's it so this is our has permission got now if you want to check for this one for example let's say that we are having the road section right so this is our total road section and here we are having and can activate our auth guard and the, this doesn't have any child components okay so here in our first component, we are having a child components, child, first component, child A and child B. So that means if I try to show you here the first component and this is our first component. So this is our parent. And here if I try to click on this one, the child is working fine. So now the first component needs to be loaded. So that means the parent component needs to be loaded. When I click on the child A, then it needs to check whether the child roots has a permission or not. So normally what you can do it is you can use and can activate. <coughs> of type has permission got so you can use this one as has permission got like this now if you try to check the output for this one so if i try to check it here child a so child a works is then is, is working why because we have we have written true if i return the false here so then you will be able to go to the no access so for example if i try to access this one as first component okay and now if i try to access this child a so first component, the parent component, we are able to access it. That means in our app.root.ts, so this first component, we are able to access this one. But if I want to access the child means, first one of the child you have added and has permission got. So which is an, which returns the false. So if I click on this child A, you will be able to see that it doesn't have an access. But if I try to go to the child B means, then you will be able to see that it is working fine. Now if you want to apply the same thing for the child also, child B also means for every child root if you want to apply it means then you need to apply the same thing here. So then you will be able to see that it doesn't have access. So now here what it is happening. Now here this is our parent root and these are all the child roots and for every child root you are trying to apply can activate like this. 
so this becomes for example if you are having uh, four five or six or ten children means for every child like path you need to add and connect to it like this so this could be something like an uh, not a recommended way so because of that one so what you can do it is so now you want to restrict the axis or you want to check the authorization of all the child paths which are present for this parent so for this one you can apply in a such a way that can activate for this one so if you apply can activate for this one what will happen only if you try to check the first component so let's try to check the first component if you try to check it it will tell you that so first component so okay fine so here i need to add a comma okay so if i try to access the first component it is telling no axis but if i try to access the first component slash child a so whether i can able to access this one or not you can able to access this one so sorry you cannot able to access this one why because uh, the can activate will not access the first parent so first parent is getting loaded inside the first parent only the children are getting loaded so you cannot able to access this parent root and also the child root also you cannot able to access it but i want the parent root to be accessed but only the children root should be checked means then i can use can activate child here instead of this one i can use the can activate child now if i try to access the first first component so here i will be able to access the parent root but when i am trying to access the child means i cannot able to access it so only the parent root i can able to access it but if you are trying to access the child root means you cannot able to access it whereas the can activate total route this total route including the child routes and everything it will be restricted whereas the can activate child it will like restrict only the child but allows the parent thing so this is the main difference between the can activate and the can activate child can activate what it will try to do it will try to restrict the axis for a single root only for single root only but can activate child for all its child roots it will stop the axis so this is the main difference between can activate child and also can activate function so can activate child function if you try to see the for this one so a functional guard that protects the child roots and here auth service and all those things we have given it and also if you try to understand so here you will be having an uh, what i want to tell is so you will be getting the route activated route so these these things also you will get activated route snapshot okay and also the router also you will be able to get router 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 state snapshot so maybe i'm thinking of something like that so now here there is no need for us for this router let's try to see okay this snapshot means it will not work so these things also state also you will be able to exit so that is a different thing so i don't want to uh, do this one all i don't want to show this one all so this is the latest thing so we are implementing the functional based instead of the class based in angular 18 fine so now <clears throat> so we have also seen how we can implement the now uh, uh, how this uh, can activate child and also the can activate uh, this one is working so can activate child uh, if you try to use this one in the approach means so it is applied to the only to the first component meaning that the guard will be checked before activating any of the child roots like child a or child b if the user doesn't have permission means then it will be redirected to the no access route so that is the logic which what we have written so so where we will be using this connect with child is role based access we will be using the connect with child when you want to control access to a group of child roots based on the roles or permissions feature toggles you can conditionally activate child roots based on the feature flags in your application allowing or denying access to a new features without changing the parent roots so this is all about uh, where we will be using hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you